Police investigating 7 News reporter Amanda Cost looking into Ebo's criminal past. And Amanda, you've confirmed his links to a white supremacist prison gang called the 211 Crew. And Teresa, our sources confirming that he was recruited into that violent prison gang while serving time. 7 News obtaining these court documents detailing his criminal history dating back to 2003. And this is a mugshot from when he was locked up, pulled a gun, and demanded cash, stealing wallets from a group watching a Broncos game in a Lakewood home. And in 2004 in Adams County, he tried to kick in someone's front door with his gun in hand, demanding items inside that home. And now take a look at a current mugshot of it. More trouble in prison. In 2007, while serving time, he punched a prison guard in the face, and for that he was sentenced to four years. Now he's serving his parole. He was serving it in Denver, and he was eligible for that to be up in December of 2015. Now also court documents revealed that in 2004, the same year that his sister passed away in that January, in June of 2004, he shot himself twice, once in the stomach and once in the leg. Reporting live, Amanda Cost, 7 News. We continue key, uh, team coverage with 7 News reporter Don Champion. And Don, you spent most of, uh, or he spent most of his prison time in solit solitary confinement. John, it's a reality that apparently changed Evan forever. That word coming from his father, Jack. 7 News obtained an audio recording from Jack Ebel's March 2011 testimony before Senate Committee at the State Capitol. Ebel was there supporting a bill that sets guidelines for prisoners in solitary confinement. Pictures show what must have been the good days of Evan Ebel's life, but after the smiles and during his prison term came deep concerns. I'm a parent of a son who's been incarcerated for six years. During Jack Ebel's 2011 testimony at the state capitol, he spoke about how his son had deteriorated after being held in solitary confinement for five and a half of the six years he had spent in prison. He has a high level of paranoia extremely anxious so when he gets out to visit me and he gets out of his cell to talk to me I mean he's so um, agitated that it will take an hour to an hour and a half before we can actually talk. Ebel went on to say it was a far cry from the well-read son he had raised. So what I'm telling you is that if he had and he may have had some mental conditions going in they are exacerbated to the point of that I hardly recognize my son sometimes. You can almost hear the desperation in his voice there. And now that bill ultimately was signed into law. ABC News spoke to friends of Evans who, after prison, described him as being depressed and on edge for years. One friend saying Evan was, quote, a dark person. Live in the newsroom, Don Champion, 7 News.